Now if you want to cycle a freshwater aquarium, regardless of whether it's for goldfish, cichlids, discus, community fish, it really doesn't matter. What people mean by cycling is basically allowing the growth of bacteria and the bacteria that grows is what's responsible for breaking down your fish waste. So what your aim is, is to um, have an equal amount of bacteria established in the filter for the waste that's produced by your fish. Now the most important thing the bacteria needs is oxygen. So you must ensure you have very good surface agitation, plenty of oxygen in the water, otherwise the bacteria isn't able to grow. Um, also check your pH and KH. Um, I do seem to believe that when the water is very low in KH, it does seem to inhibit bacteria growth. As far as um, cycling the tanks concerned, it can be done artificially by putting a prawn or something to rot into the aquarium. And then what that will do is grow an artificial amount of bacteria in the aquarium. And that artificial amount of bacteria will mean that when you put your fish in, that, um, that they won't have to go through an ammonia and nitrite phase. I don't like that method at all, unless I know that in, in a month or so I'm going to dump a whole heap of fish into it. I'm way too impatient for that and I think it's a waste of time. But the way that I like to cycle an aquarium is I'll get the water quality right and then I'll put a small amount of fish in, just like four fish or six fish or just a tiny, tiny amount of fish in and way underpopulate the aquarium. I'll then wait a week or two. I'll then test the pH, ammonia, nitrite and I'll see how the aquarium has adapted to those fish. Then I will add another small amount of fish. Then I'll wait another week or two so therefore, it's actually the nutrients from the fish that are actually cycling the aquarium. There are various products that you can add, such as Bactamax and so forth. And what they can do is enhance the growth of the bacteria, um, help to seed the bacteria and ensure the bacteria grows. Because when you put fish in the aquarium, we assume and we hope the bacteria will grow. But it is a natural thing and problems can occur. So therefore sometimes it doesn't grow, or it doesn't grow in any speed or rate that we expect it to. So these bacteria seeders are a very good idea. So once again, if you did do it with a prawn or something, I reckon it's a waste of time, because the um, prawn is just going to cause a massive growth of bacteria, and then the bacteria is just going to die off in the preceding weeks, because no longer will it have that massive food source, so the amount of bacteria will die off to what the fish will produce anyway. So the secret to cycling a freshwater tank is add a small amount of fish, wait a week or two, test it. Add a small amount of fish, wait a week or two, test it. So my advice would be to come in and see us whenever you want new fish and bring a sample of water from your tank or your pond or your bowl or whatever you want to keep your fish in and, it, and let us look at a video of your tank running and let us test your water because if we can see it and we can test it then we can make sure it's going to work well for you.